Hello, world changers. Dr. Bell again. We are in module two of ECE 4515, your early language and literacy course for birth through kindergarten. And um, last week we learned about the theoretical underpinnings and an introduction to uh, language and literacy and the brain. This module we're going to look uh, a little bit more in depth, revisiting language. We're going to look at language and um, we're going to look at um, language th uh, theory we already did, so we're going to look at uh, just basic characteristics of language development, and then we are going to look more in depth uh, through video clips at um, language milestones, language and communication milestones. Um, this is our biggest language focus, so it's important that by the end of this module, you've really thought about applying the activities towards um, viewing, speaking, and listening, which are the big language um, processes that we're learning to do before we move into literacy. Um, so viewing has to do with visual discrimination, which you will need later in literacy. Um, but, you know, young children need to know the difference between same and different, size differentiation, uh, conservation of mass. Uh, they need to know um, the difference between left and right, matching items, um, finding things amongst, like, I spy or where, where's Waldo kind of things. And then we move into um, listening, which is receptive language. That's when we receive language, and we usually do it through um, listening. And um, we learn to discriminate among sounds, high sounds, low sounds, loud sounds, soft sounds, distinct sounds that are associated with distinct words and formation of lips. Um, and then we get to speaking and we learn to encourage children to talk. I will say that one of the most important things you can do to promote positive language development in young children is to converse and talk with them. So um, quiet classrooms are not really appropriate for young children. Uh, it's okay to have everything down to a dull roar, and there are times where, you know, as a teacher I am talking and you are listening, but it is expected that children will be engaged in conversation, rich, meaningful conversation, during the learning day for the most of the, uh, most of the learning day. Uh, so I hope you get a lot out of, oh, sorry, I didn't finish what we're covering. So after we cover language development, then we're going to look at scaffolding. Now, this is going to be a foundation for all the rest of our modules, so pay particular attention to the scaffolding techniques that are listed in this module. Um, we start off by looking at theoretical and understandings and, and um, theory and Un, yeah, theore theoretical understandings by looking at multiple intelligences, learning styles, which are two different things. You should never confuse, even though even the researchers are doing it now. Multiple intelligence and learning style are two different things. Learning style is the way I learn. Multiple intelligence is the way I'm smart or my strengths. So I can be musically intelligent, really good with music. And you would think that I would be good at listening to things, but I'm a visual learner. So that's where that goes. But we're going to look at those things, and then we're going to look at Bloom's taxonomy. Because when you're scaffolding a lesson, even with infants and toddlers, you have a learning goal in mind, and you should always have that learning goal in mind. And the way you scaffold and interact your children should lead them toward the learning goal. So we're going to look at Bloom's taxonomy uh, in a little bit of depth and understand the difference among the levels. And uh, we're going to look at specific scaffolding techniques to work with young children that we can apply to language and literacy. Then we're going to look at families and diversity and look at how culture has an impact on language development, how families have an impact on language development, and what ways you can promote families to support language development in their homes. I hope you enjoy the module and that you get a lot done.